guys welcome to my another video on AWS today we will discuss about how to containerize an application and push it to AWS uh, uh, ECR which is elastic container registry um, so to begin with uh, we will um, first uh, create a uh, application um, and dockerize or containerize the application uh, and then let's uh, build the application and push uh, push the image to the elastic container registry repository so we will create a repository um, uh, and we will push our local uh, docker image uh, into the repository so that we can use that image to deploy to the um, to a ECS cluster uh, to an EC2 instance basically and then we will uh, use a task definition and uh, and we will run the task definition in inside the container um, we will we, we will inside the ECS cluster sorry EC2 so that uh, you know uh, we run our uh, container instances right um, so basically um, to begin with uh, I've used the docker um, uh, image so if you can uh, go to this URL uh, that I've shown here and and um, as you can see uh, to containerize this application my application is a node.js application so that's why I had to use this node um, in your case it could be um, if it could be something else uh, probably you you have to refer to the doc docker documentation uh, but for this example I'm going to use node.js all right um, so go ahead and open up this URL and uh, let's containerize an application all right so scroll down uh, bottom in on the page just copy the uh, script that you have and go to um, this is my example application that I've created which is a simple Express app which has a basic basic API which is slash uh, this is a sample API slash info slash which gives you basic uh, information right I'm also running this application on port number 3000 3, um, we will see how we can use this port number in our AWS um, uh, security group and we can uh, open up an application on this particular port right um, so to begin with um, this is my example app and I will also uh, I think I've already pushed this um, app into the uh, into my github account um, probably I'll, I will um, add the link in the description box below so um, okay let's go ahead and create a docker file um, docker file so I'm going to simply copy paste uh, this the code that I have uh, there. Um, so basically, this is uh, this tells uh, that my container to use a node uh, uh, node JS package. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in my case, I'm using Apple and Mac M1. So for M1 to work, uh, for M1 builds uh, to work, I need to use a something a very special. Uh, architecture which is this one so I need to use AMD 64 Linux architecture otherwise my local build will fail but in your case it could be just this you can you can simply use this um, if you're not using Apple Mac M1 chip alright um, so if uh, in my case I'm using Apple M1 chip so that's why I'm replacing that with uh, a AMD 64 uh, architecture with uh, Linux okay um, all right um, so okay so as soon as you um, create uh, your doc file uh, what you can do is open up your terminal uh, you either you can open it from here or you can simply do a control back tick which opens up the terminal in Visual Studio all right um, so okay let's begin so let's build a docker image uh, for now uh, which is docker I have installed docker in my local make sure you install docker and also uh, let's build a image okay let docker build minus T uh, this is my Express app uh, and uh, dot dot represents uh, whatever I have inside uh, my uh, folder right in my root folder so I'm just gonna build a image out of this uh, it's gonna take a couple of seconds okay there you go uh, maybe it might be um, uh, pretty quick in your case uh, if you have already built a image uh, in my case I'm just starting I'm just building it just now so that's why it took a bit of time otherwise it will be pretty quick if I run this command again you can see how quick it will be because the, all the cached um, content um, so I, that that is the reason why it is pretty quick all right uh, so now you have built the image uh, what I'm going to do is docker images you can see my Express app here um, I'm going to zoom in a bit all right so this is my Express app um, and this is my image ID um, I've just started a I've just uh, created a build um, a minute ago all right 
and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run my docker application locally um, and see if we are able to access the application locally because first we need to make sure that application is working locally right and um, so for that I'm gonna do docker run minus p I'm gonna run somewhere in um, maybe my local port is 4200 you can choose anything um, in the TCP uh, port range um, so f in my case I'm using 4200 this is my local port and I'm exposing if you can if I show you something here uh, this is the port number that I'm exposing uh, in my application right because I'm starting a server on a port number 3000 here so I'm gonna export uh, expose the port number 3000 uh, like so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map 4200 from my local machine to the container which is running an application on port number 3000 yeah uh, with this container ID with this image ID okay um, just paste the image ID and hit run um, okay so there's something wrong it does not match the host platform uh, not specified was requested maybe this is the problem with the um, SRC maybe try now let's run the docker image or maybe we need to build the um, image again um, and let's uh, run um, so as soon as it it finishes uh, the run uh, I think uh, you should be able to run the image now or maybe I don't know uh, let's do something like docker images um, copy the container ID again okay docker run minus p port number which is 4200 3000 and then my container ID right uh, you should be able to see it is running yeah I think it is running now um, okay let's go ahead and try and open up the application in the port number uh, localhost 4200 okay see there you go um, now you're able to run the application locally uh, and also if you do something like slash info uh, yeah there you go you are able to see the um, information right um, okay so I think it is now in a good place uh, so what we can do is ignore the warning for now that you see here um, maybe I think something is wrong with the arc underlying architecture I don't know um, but um, let's go ahead and create a repository in my ECR go back to the uh, AWS console uh, like so go, go to ECR and click on elastic container regi repository registry I'm so sorry now click on get started create a repository okay I want to create a anything um, you, you can go ahead with the private and public um, in my case I'm just gonna go with the public one uh, just to make sure that um, I'm able to um, I, I don't want to create any roles or anything like that uh, as you see uh, so that's why I just wanted to skip it um, I'm just gonna go express uh, app um, you can give some unique ID something like that um, 098 plot file you don't need to do anything else uh, content types architecture ARM 63 64 maybe I need this and operating system Linux uh, build snap Linux and I'm 64 in your case probably you don't need to select anything this is basically optional I'm just trying to you know i um, trying to uh, specify uh, the operating system and also architecture you, you can complete you can skip this you don't need to uh, select that if you're not using Mac M1 um, so go ahead and create a repository so there you go so now you have created a repository and now you select repository click on this view push command so you can see all the commands that um, you uh, need uh, to push the docker local image into the uh, repository right so just copy the image and go back to the um, application wherever you're running uh, and go to a new terminal window all right just paste this uh, for this I think uh, in order in order for you to work from command line like this you need a AWS CLI I have um, uh, I will give the link to the AWS CLI uh, and you need to configure it otherwise you wouldn't be able to access uh, you wouldn't be able to run the AWS commands over here in your terminal right um, now uh, I have pasted uh, the command from the ECR elastic container registry I I was able to log in and now go back to the um, second step which is this one uh, maybe you can copy this and um, 
paste uh, docker build we will run a build again uh, this is a different name now okay another build is successful um, and go to the docker tagging so let's let's tag the image um, like so and uh, then let's push the image to the repository right just copy the last command and go to the application just paste it I hope you guys are able to see it um, yeah I think this is much better uh, I'm just gonna hit enter so now it is trying to push uh, my image into the repository so in a moment you should be able to see uh, the image in a repository so just give it a moment um, it should shortly be done okay now it's pushed um, so what I'm gonna do um, go back to the um, go back to your AWS console uh, click on Express app and there you go so now you are able to see the uh, image the latest image this is the tag I have created uh, latest um, and so you are now able to push the image into the repository right so okay um, so for us the next step will be creating a cluster okay uh, so load uh, so we need we need uh, the image to be deployed somewhere right um, so for that we need to create an EC2 uh, instance uh, we will use um, uh, ECS basically so uh, elastic container service so let's go ahead and cre create a cluster okay um, in my case uh, okay so it was too quick sorry um, so now on the clusters page when you come to the ECS on the clusters page click on create cluster I don't have anything except the default cluster ignore the default one click on create cluster I'm choosing EC2 uh, Linux plus networking so this is the uh, capability that I need for my uh, docker container to run so click on next and the cluster name will be express um, okay so I'm gonna name the same uh, the image name right I'm gonna just remove all of this uh, until this one okay um, now on demand instance uh, I'm gonna choose t2.micro which is uh, t2.micro and then number of instance one uh, Linux um, AMI and then I don't need any keypad I think I need a default VPC subnet I think you can choose anything maybe I will choose a US East 1A um, and subnet enabled security group you can choose the default security group you don't need to create any security group as of now you can change the default one so leave container instance I am role just go ahead and click on create like so so I think it will take a couple of seconds to create a cluster um, with a EC2 instance let's see if the instance is running then what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, um, um, create a task uh, all right and then we will deploy the task and uh, we will run the task in the uh, ec2 instance um sorry in our container okay um so now that i have created my um uh, cluster just go ahead and click on view cluster so this is your cluster service here um so we're going to go to tasks uh, and no uh, let's go to task definitions and create a new task definition and uh, we will choose ec2 in our case click on next step let's name this a express task and um, so basically what we are trying to do is create a task definition uh, which means uh, we will deploy the task uh, into our container um, we will in the task definition we will specify how much of uh, memory you need and the CPU and etc so um, um, so um, so we're gonna name this definition name as express task task it's up to you uh, uh, on the name um, for task memory I think 100 um, MB is enough for me and I'm gonna use v1 with CPU like so and I'm gonna add a container uh, I'm gonna name this a express app container uh, you can give whatever name you like um, and for the image repository you remember we have pushed the docker image into our ECR right um, I've opened uh, up my um, elastic container registry uh, I have my repository uh, previously I have deployed a uh, image called uh, express app 098 uh, so I'm gonna copy the URI for that and uh, paste it inside my image all right um, like so and I think you can leave this memory limits um, and then go ahead to port mappings uh, remember my docker container is running inside a uh, port number 
2000 uh, but my local host was running in 4200 uh, so we're gonna do the port mapping uh, because the container will run the application on port number 2000 and the outer um, uh, container uh, will run on 4200 so we ju we're just mapping uh, to the uh, port number um, where the container runs right um, and I don't think you need any advanced container configuration click on add okay so now that we have added um, so I don't think we need to do anything else uh, let's go ahead and click on create okay so we have successfully created it as definition now let's go back to um, our cluster okay um, where is our cluster okay so here it is so we have one EC2 instance already running yeah when we have created a cluster it creates an EC2 instance uh, I think what we can do is open up in a new tab uh, maybe duplicate my tab let's duplicate yeah um, and uh, you should go to EC2 okay and click on instances which is running uh, and there you go um, so this is my instance which is running okay uh, service express app 098 this is my instance and now let's go back to the ECS okay let's go back to the cluster okay go to the task so what I'm gonna do is run a new task um, EC2 and uh, I'm gonna use my express uh, app so what did I create now uh, my task definition X express tasks revision 2 and I'm gonna use express 098 cluster number of tasks one and that's it I think that's pretty much it let's go ahead and run task okay uh, okay so now we have created task successfully um, and this is in pending state as you can see it is trying to spin up a container now you can see uh, it the status is running uh, which means it has successfully deployed and uh, um, okay um, so now that it is running uh, go back to the EC2 instance okay uh, refresh take uh, select the EC2 instance and copy the public IPv4 and open up in a new tab and try to paste it um, I don't think you will be able to see anything because we have hosted our application on port 200 this is my port number and obviously you won't see anything because we haven't edited any security groups for this because uh, when you see this is spinning you know the first uh, doubt that you need to get is because of security group you're not able to do anything right so you go back to the um, security you go to the security group okay click on instance and select on security tab go to this default security group and uh, try and edit inbound rules okay um, okay so there's nothing right basically um, what you're gonna do is go to custom TCP so this is my port number which is um, for 200 okay which is coming from anywhere and also you can do the same thing add a rule custom TCP uh, for 200 uh, IPv6 you can select IPv6 I think uh, this is good um, from anywhere on port number this you will be forwarding that request um, uh, to the container because that's where the mapping is happening so just click on save rules um, and uh, go back to this page um, and try and refresh this again see there you go now uh, you can see um, uh, our application has been deployed uh, using a docker container you can see the uh, text which is coming and let's test our slash info API slash info yeah there you go um, okay um, I think it is working um, let's see if it is working with this DNS um, okay go to EC2 okay and uh, select the instance that is running which is your container instance uh, which is your EC2 instance yeah uh, copy the public DNS go to uh, the URL that you were trying to uh, um, hit the URL okay uh, just click on HTTPS maybe it's HTTPS I don't know uh, let's go to 4200 and refresh is there something wrong okay there you go um, you're now able to see uh, the application using the DNS we have seen with the IP address and now we are able to open up the application using a uh, DNS and now slash info there you go um, okay 
I think I hope uh, this gives a good idea on how we have um, used Docker container to push uh, and uh, p um, and uh, running containers inside my EC2 using a Docker container. Uh, I hope uh, this gives you guys uh, a great idea and uh, I think you can do a load balancer uh, and you can do much more stuff on that I, but I have already created a load balancer stuff in my previous video I I believe you can follow that um, and uh, yeah thank you so much uh, please like share subscribe my video and also add uh, comments in this comment section below because if you need uh, anything or if you if you would like to do um, and have uh, something uh, uh, demo on something please uh, message in the comments box and um, and please like the video guys and thank you so much we, I will see you guys in the next video